Hey everybody, my name is Brian. Today we are going to take a look at the LTD B208FM bass from ESP. Back when I was in college, I was in several art classes. When I was doing my work, I would always listen to music. And one of the bands that I listened to back then was King's X. Doug Pinnock was the bass player of the band. And he had a very unique and monstrous tone. After much investigation, I learned he used a 12-string bass. I also learned that Tom Peterson of Cheap Trick also used a 12-string bass. I believe the reason for using a unique instrument was to fill out the sound of a one guitar band. Now, I'm a guitarist by nature, and I just couldn't get that sound out of my head. So earlier this year, I bought this bass you see me holding here, and it sounds incredible. The B208FM features a basswood body, flame maple top, and it's finished in translucent black. 34 inch scale bolt on neck is constructed of a five piece maple and rosewood back and a rosewood top. And it's secured to the body with six bolts. The hardware is finished in black nickel and features four bass tuners, four guitar tuners for the octave strings, and a tunematic style bridge and stop tail piece. The pickups are ESP designed SB5N and SB5B neck and bridge pickups respectively. It has an active three band EQ, a master volume knob, and a pickup blend knob. Out of the box, the neck needed tweaking, but I attributed that to the tremendous amount of tension that eight strings would cause. Once I tweaked the truss rod and set the action, it played very nicely. The biggest challenge for the 8-string bass is finding a tone that works. After much research, I found that splitting your signal works best. I used Yonax Tone Stack app to make a virtual rig that split the signal, sending both sides to a filter. The bass rig side has a low-pass filter and is going into a bass preamp and cabinet and set very clean and full. The guitar rig goes through a high pass filter and into a slightly overdriven Marshall style amp and cabinet. And the sound just works. I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at this unique and big sounding bass. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Like, subscribe, and watch my channel for a tutorial for an in-depth look at the tone talked about today. Thanks for watching and remember, there's a reason they call it playing music. That's because it's fun. We'll see you next time and thanks for watching.